Welcome to my stock. Can you leave your phone and number, please, and I'll call you back. Hi, Mom. Mom? Oh, yeah. Yeah, Andrew. Hi, Mom. Are you ready for your interview? Uh, I guess so. <laughs> okay, we can just do a short interview, then I'll do another one later. Okay? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm going to start asking you questions. Um... Who told you that you needed to do the sunrise dance ceremony when you were a girl? My parents, my mom and dad. What did they tell you? As you're getting older, like nine, ten, they are already talking to you that you are going to have a sunrise dance. Lady will massage you when you have your... Uh, come through as a woman so you kind of prepare for that in your mind like stay innocent stay pure and they and your parents um, highly regard you to have this dance for you so you kind of be respectful and be on your guard tell you get to that age where they said don't go wild don't go crazy you're, you're gonna have our sunrise dance at that age you know you're you're innocent yet and you you want to obey your parents so that's how it leads up to do you remember your sunrise dance ceremony as a young girl now all these years later yeah. uh-huh i still remember were you nervous before the ceremony? I, no, I was, we were prepared for it. They talk to you what's going to happen and what do we need to do. And they teach you ahead of time of uh, what's going to happen. And then for dancing, they practice. And even before the, the, the ceremony comes around, you work. You work hard for, you know, because they want you to grow up, work hard, and uh, be a... Uh, not a lazy person mm. and have a family in the future so so you, I used to gather wood with my mother I told you kids before that yeah they'll go out and chop wood and bundle it and put it on your bag and bring it home that was the main thing and then they want you to do stuff around the house as you're approaching your that age so and then they take you to the other sunrise dance or ceremonies on for you to watch them because that's how it's done they'll tell you so that's the preparation they give you when you when it's your time how many days is the sunrise dance ceremony well you gotta be at the ground at the ceremony ground a week before for to to prepare make homes and everything but the original dancing and uh, the things start on Thursday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So it's actually four days of uh, the ceremony that's going on. Who and why do you receive the godparents during that time? Godparents. Oh, <clears throat> the parents take that for you, so they will be with you for the rest of your life as a second parent, as a guidance, and help you along your, your, your way, or if you need help, or you just become best friends, and help each other. That's the reason why they, they pick some, some older women. With me, I, I never knew that my godparent was 19 years old when she massaged me. But normally they use old lady, old elders, you know, after 60 or 50, 60, 70, 80. Mm. But here I had a 19-year-old godmother. Why do they massage the sunrise dance um, <laughs> girls? Well, they that's what I hear is they'll form you into womanhood. Mm. Your body for working and do some uh, whatever is ahead of you, your bone, you don't run faster where you run far away. 
and then you dance so many hours for endurance and they massage you for uh, all over your body your head your feet up to your head mm. and then some 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 god man they will kick their girl you know to make I didn't get kicked but they just pushed me with their feet but some women kick their their goddaughter heart so they'll be they'll be strong and and you know to endure for a, a long time because that's that work that's ahead of you as a woman yeah what are the you know, crown dancers the crown dancers as i remember is they uh uh, how would I say? Well, they 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 sent prayers to to God. They um, they are part of that dance because they're blessing. They bless people, and uh, uh, that's all I know. You know that they they're just part of the blessing to to the ceremony for healing and like blessing. Was your dad a crown dancer? He was a crown dancer, yes. In his early age, he he was uh, a part of the group dancing, the one that's at the very beginning, the number one standing, and it goes. There's five of them. At the end is the clown, but he was the first one that leads the crown, the men out there to dance, and he was like that for members of a uh, dance crew until when he got older, maybe in his 50 or 60, then he became uh, one of the group that handles the crown dancers for him, for himself. You know, he had some crew that he takes around to places and dance, you know, while he shows them how. Mm -hmm. Well, he, yeah, he's a, uh, what, director for that group or something like that. I remember that, and then later he became a medicine man after all the work he did as he got older. The good medicine man. Attaching where he medicine man. People. Yes, uh huh. He what started was, from being a clown dancer. What was his name? My father? Yeah. His, uh, his, the record he had hold his name is David Dan. Film and his Indian name is Nantan Natisha, meaning the the head of the chief or the uh, director or the one that gives out orders. Nantan Natisha. Chief, yeah, chief. Actually, you know, yes, Nantan Natisha, which I name you. This so I. You, that's your name. So I inherited my grandfather's name, Nantana Yeah. Nantana yes. Okay, that's good. You're everywhere you go, you're the head of the, the head of whatever that's going on, the chief. Tell them what to do and they'll do it. That's good. Why mm -hmm. should people hold on to the, still speak the Apache language? Well, I think it's a beautiful language that we all grew up with and that God, that Don, had given to us. Native of this America, different language we ha we held in different places. And it's very important that we keep hanging on to that and teach our children, and which I try to teach you folks here in the city. It was kind of hard and tough, but you managed to pick it up, especially you. And Garrick and James and Jada, they all know a little bit. It, but it is a valuable uh, language. It's it's the, uh, our culture that belongs, to, uh, you know, to, to teach our children that. And a lot of people still talk a patch on the res, but uh, I don't know how it's going to turn out in the next century. Hopefully, there still be words flowing around a patch of words. But it's it's important that we we have that language continuing throughout our lives. Why why do you have to get permission to use the Apache Crown Dance images? 
because uh, it's a re- the way my father used to say that it it it's not a foolish thing to do. It, there's a respect flowing with it, and it's a and it's a godly way that they're they're uh, performing. You just don't clown around with them. So you have to. Uh, it, it's a respectful thing, I guess. You look up to them because they they are uh, uh, praying for people in a mighty way. Long time ago, uh, when we're living in Kelva and it's raining and there'll be thundering outside, and my mom and dad will be sitting down quiet, listening to the rain thunder, and then my dad would say the thunder, and he said, "There's a crown dance and." Crown uh, dancers are dancing up there. That's why it's thundering. That's that's when they're dancing. You know, what he used to tell us in the Apache way. Mm, this one is so I still up to now when I yeah. Hi. Huh? Is that huh? what he said? When it's thunder in the sky, there's crown dancers are dancing in the sky. Dancing, yes. Yeah, so, uh, dancing giving us a blessing or have a good day, you know, some in that regard. So even now when I hear thunder and I remember what he used to say, my dad. You remember when I painted my big first crown dancer on the Indian Heritage High School and I asked you for permission and you gave me permission Mm -hmm. and you said a little prayer for the Apache people before I painted it? Why did mm-hmm. we have to say a prayer before we painted the crown dancer on the wall? Well, as I said, out of respect for the Nate Apache people, out of respect, and uh, because you just can't fool, fool around foolish with something like that, out of respect, you just pray to God and have a release of, of uh, okay, you know, that we can do that, kind of like feeling in your heart to do that. Mm, okay. It's, it's not something to play around with. That's okay. what they used to tell mm. us when we're growing up. Don't 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 laugh at it and stuff like that. Out of respect, I guess. Okay. Is what I said. Mm-hmm. That's good, Mom. I'm going to ask you one more mm-hmm. question. Can you say a short prayer in a, the Apache language? Because I'm going to start painting for my final project, Apache Crown Dancers photos that David knows he gave me. He gave me permission to use them. Can you say a prayer in Apache language over the phone to me? And those will bless the images so that I do it right. And I don't I yes. don't fool around and respect the tribe. <clears throat> yes. A short prayer. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Narakai, <laughs> Mm. Amen. Mom, one yeah. last question. Wow. Can you tell me in English, can you tell me what you just said in your prayer? Just repeat it in English the best you can so that I can translate uh-huh. it when I put it in my paper. Mm-hmm. I'll put your language in, but then I'll write it in English for the uh, mm-hmm. whites. Okay, I, I said, uh, Father God, bless this uh, portrait that my son Andrew is going to start painting you. Out of respect, he asked for blessing to do this portrait of the Apache crown dancer. 
that was given to my, his grandfather and my father, and he passed on to that. And I remember that my father always told us that to, to pray and to ask for uh, uh, good things to come by, by painting or dealing with these gone people that are respectful to Apache people. So out of that, I asked for for a blessing and 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 we give in return respect and that all will be well with Andrew and us and the family and the one who deals with this. Amen. Okay, amen. Kind of like that way. Okay, mm-hmm. that's good, Mom. I'll, I'll call you guys later, okay? Hi, yeah. Okay. Okay, I hear you. Andrew, Shif and Joan. Okay, Shif and Joan. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, bye. And I'll see you later. Now, Bye. And I'll see you later. Okay, bye. <laughs>